Rest. Here it is. <clears throat> Lights are on. Okay. Everything is on. Okay, I think we're good. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Nobody's here. <laughs> there. All right. People are coming in. Good morning, people. Good morning. Another unbelievable gift. Mm -hmm. This came actually yesterday, but it was after we had already done our Facebook Live. It comes from Todd from TDC Wood Turning. Oh, my God. He makes custom pens you and other wood-turned art. Can you, can you see? I mean, it's got our name, our, our little tagline, our cartoon pictures. Can you see it? It's unbelievable believable i mean it's just gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous it's the fanciest of all pens i'm so excited about this there was a gold one and a silver one and he thought that like the gold one would be more blingy and so i would like it better but actually i wear silver and she wears gold i'm gold and she's <laughs> silver i'm so, so excited out. it's so it's so cool i'm so excited thank you thank i love you. this i mean it's just beautiful i love it it came in this beautiful like velvet case it's I mean, just, it's, it's spectacular. Ridiculous. This is the coolest thing. And he goes into detail in his, in his letter about like how he does it. And it's all stuff I don't understand. I don't know how people do these things. I wish I had a talent like that. I mean, that, that is just amazing. It's, I am so like not crafty or creative. You have some of that. I mean, I can make jewelry, but that's, I mean, but that's I can't something. do, I can't do that. Well, I mean, that, this is, that is just spectacular. This is crazy. Right? This is crazy amounts Show of talent. Show the silver one. So this is, that that's the better? silver, and then this is the gold. Can you guys see? I They're mean, just beautiful. Thank it's you. It's incredible. Yeah. Incredible. It really Todd is. Todd Chimmel. Thank you, Todd. Chimmel. I don't know. Um, but he is the chief executive turner, and he is good at his job. So awesome. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. That is amazing. Um, Minneapolis is burning down to the ground, and obviously that completely makes the death of George Floyd better all better <laughs> why mm -hmm. why are we doing this why well, i know people are angry and rightly so yeah because these clowns have not been arrested I yet know. what the hell man even trey gowdy was on television yesterday saying there's literally there's no reason that these people have not been arrested yeah i that, don't understand what's happening that doesn't make any sense because he said in minneapolis like he you know obviously he's a south carolina guy but he was saying in Minneapolis, there's three levels of murder charges. The first being like premeditated murder. And he, even if you eliminate that one, it's still manslaughter. Like there's still no question that it is the fault of that cop specifically with his knee on dude's neck. That's why he died. That's murder. Arrest him. Arrest him. I, I don't, what I mean, is the holdup? We've all seen it. Just arrest the guy. Arrest him. I don't understand what's I, I yeah that's it's just outrageous that doesn't make any sense i feel like we're all unified in understanding what happened here yeah so arrest him i maybe? do you see what's happening in your city i mean maybe that would help a little but, yeah. a show of actual justice taking place it, yeah i don't, I don't but they're not i feel like this that. is common sense but okay they're not doing it. They keep like, you know, sending all their little people on TV to say, well, we're, you know, we're conducting a really thorough investigation. We want to make sure we dot all those I's, cross all those T's. Somebody said the National Guard is there. We're way behind. 500 National Guard members are there. We need way more than that because mm -hmm. the city is burning down. I mean, I, have you guys seen the videos and the pictures that are coming out of many? It's insane what's happening. They burned down an entire police station. It's burned to the ground. And like a whole McDonald's now today is gone. Why? Why are we doing this? That apartment building that burned down yesterday, it was apparently for low income housing and there was a wait list for it. Yeah. So how are we helping that community in any way with what's going on right now? And I know there's people that are like, well, this is, you know, George Soros is sending in whatever, Antifa and Black Lives. It doesn't even matter at this point who the terrorists are. Yeah. They need to be stopped. I, I, what is happening? Yeah, it's crazy. And then the riots have extended to like LA. People are, people are just pissed everywhere. It's, it's bad. Yeah, it's people really, are really just bad. mad. People are mad. And then that led Trump to tweet um, <clears throat> about it. And now that has escalated the war between Trump and Twitter. So yeah, it there's, is, there's a war. Oh my God. 
I gotta find that tweet really And fast. the tweet, I don't, I don't, they're saying that the tweet was taken down because it promoted violence. Well, it's not taken down. This is what's so weird about it. So like Twitter has said, we don't, we're not gonna take down Trump's tweets. We're gonna put basically a warning label like on it. Like a so, flag, we're gonna flag yeah. it. So here's like, see how it looks when you go. It's okay, just this tweet like violated the Twitter rules about <laughs> glorifying violence. Is so what then, it's but you can still see it, right? So you can still, if you view it, you can go to the actual tweet. And so what he wrote, and this was six hours ago, he said, These thugs are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd, and I won't let that happen. Just spoke to Governor Tim Walls, told him the military is with him all the way. Any difficulty, and we will assume control. But when the looting starts, the shooting starts, thank you. And I don't know why he added the thank you at the end, but Maybe. that's what he does. Yeah, <laughs> so he, yeah. so they, they hide that. Like if you go to Donald Trump's feed, instead of seeing that, you see the message saying, this was in violation and it glorifies violence. And then you have to do another click to actually see it. You can't retweet I, it. I don't know how that glorifies violence. He's actually talking about the violence and how yeah. he's not happy about the violence. Right. Meanwhile, there are people on Twitter who are like, I want Donald Trump to die <laughs> and this is how. And then they don't and then they and don't giving, like, take that down. You know, they don't take it down and they don't flag that. You know, because it's clearly there's a bias. There's always been a bias. Yeah. There always will be a bias. There's a bias all over social media. There's a bias on every single social media platform. What really gets my blood boiling is when you hear Zuckerberg out there acting like he's never had a bias in his life and he doesn't ever censor anybody or ever squelch anybody. Nice. Yeah, you can suck it. <laughs> he's so lying. Have you guys seen? Because here's the crazy thing is that Zuckerberg is going... He's against what Jack Dorsey's doing. Oh, really? Are Bring you? Bring out all the TV shows to say, You're against well, we it. don't believe in, you know, in, in fact-checking political yeah. speech. Okay. Meanwhile, we get fact-checks on all the Facebook time. Like, constantly. We got, like, five this week. <laughs> I mean, Okay. What the hell? Right. So don't go and pretend like you're because like he's you saying don't do all the this? right things. He's saying all the right things, but uh -huh. not actually doing. He, any he's of a liar. He, says. he is a total he liar. Yeah, and we're just waiting. I'm waiting for the day that he shuts us down. I mean, it could happen at any moment. Yeah, I mean, it's it, and God it just <laughs> drives me crazy. But here's the thing, is that now Trump has done this big executive order, right? So we heard about this yesterday. He made a big show of it, signing, blah. And so he is, he's created this executive order, which is supposed to undo this whole section and regulations, which allows platforms like these to not be held liable for um, the stuff that gets put on it. And I get it. Like, I get what he is saying. Obviously, we get it, right? Like, we've been so frustrated by how much we've been squelched on social media. However, I don't know that this is the answer because what this ends up doing, if you take it to its logical conclusion, is it makes sites even like ours liable for what our commenters put, which means that we would have to shut down our entire commenting section. Maybe Facebook would be shutting down commenting sections because they don't want to be held liable for what people write all over their site. This is where we could, so it actually could stifle free speech a lot more than what we're already facing. And so I don't know what's worse. Are we more comfortable with private companies censoring us or the government censoring us? Because these are our choices now. And that completely freaks me out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what the answer is. Yeah. I really don't. I really don't. It would don't. just be nice if everybody could just say what they want to say in a free America. How about that? So that is, so, so I was having this conversation with my husband last night. So like, do we say that Facebook and Twitter should just allow everything without any kind of, any sort of censorship at all? So in other words, is it okay to throw up videos of child porn? Is it okay for people to make threats online? Like where, I don't know what to do about those things. Well, that's criminal. I think criminal activity you don't put out there. I mean, I think that that's kind of clear, right? Because don't, we don't allow criminal activity to go on in, in everyday life. Criminal right. activity is criminal activity. But you then, just don't tolerate that. But then, like, what about these examples of, you know, the Iranian leader saying death to Israel and calling for jihad and, like, terrorists doing all of their terrorist organizing and all of these things that happen on social media that 
you know, they try to keep a, they try to have community guidelines, right, to prevent. Like, you can't just put porn on Facebook. I don't know why you can't on Twitter. There's never any consistency on these platforms. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, you know, you can't put actual porn on YouTube or on Facebook. So, are they, I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to make it so that it works exactly the way that it should. We should just burn all social media <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> But then it affects other sites, right? <laughs> just like I'm kidding, but I'm kind of not. I know social media has just been the 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 bane of our existence, right? I mean, it's a huge problem. It is a and problem. A huge question. It's a problem. But you know, you start stifling the free speech of one political party, that becomes a problem. Yeah, it becomes a problem because one day that may be your political party. And this fight with Twitter and Trump is so personal now that mm. it's absurd. I yeah. mean, like, now it's like, I mean, Jack, and what do you do? Jack is sitting on his moss somewhere, all crisscross applesauce, <laughs> you know, sitting there with his, you know, eating his kale, you know, smoking his weed or whatever it is that he does. And he's, it's all, he's, he's fighting with the president because he hates the president, right? I mean, this is what we're doing. He does and. It's it's all about ideologies now. It's I don't like your ideology, so I want to squelch you. It's or well, I just don't like you. Or period. I just don't like you. Period. So I'm going to ruin you. Yeah. And this is and I'm going to use my social media platform to do it. I'm going to use my platform to do it. Um, you know, this is what people are doing now, and I, it, it it could be different in ten years. It could be okay. We're going to squelch the conservatives now. In ten years, it could be well. We're going to turn it around and squelch the liberals. May be enjoying this now. <laughs> But in 10 years, it may be different. It's just not okay anywhere. We should, I don't, listen, I understand what, that we need to draw lines. Right. But I, at the same time, there's a, there's a part of me that's like, stifling free speech at all is just, all of us should be outraged by that. All of us should be outraged, whether you're liberal or conservative. This is America, man. This is America. You just, it shouldn't be, we shouldn't be in the business of stifling it anywhere, squelching anybody. Because that's not how we roll. So Yeah, we, but then is Trump squelching the rights of a private company to operate how they want? I mean, that you know what I mean? Like, this has so many more consequences, like, all the way around. And I worry about all of that. It, 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 there's so many angles of it that are problematic, you know? is it? It's become more than just... Um, I mean, it is... It, what what is the word for it? Because it's become such a a mode of communication. It's become like almost a, like a, a public utility. It's yeah. It's it, that's the thing about Twitter. Because everybody's like, well, a conservative should just start a Twitter. <laughs> right. A conservative should just start a Facebook. We get that all the time. Why don't you girls just start a Facebook? Oh well, yeah, let me just go ahead and do that. The most okay. recent one is Parlor. Everybody's been like, oh my god, go get on Parlor or MeWe or all these other ones that are not nearly as they're effective. Not, yeah, it's, listen, it is too much. They're they're too big. They're too big of animals. It's like these are runaway trains it's like we were talking about before we started this this that's uh, a really good way this to put broadcast it. there are runaway trains both of these people you can say all you want okay well get on me we or get on whatever people aren't gonna do it <laughs> they're not because they haven't they haven't I see people even in the comments now I, I've seen a couple say just get off of Twitter listen you can say that until you're blue in the face people won't do it People won't do it. Conservatives won't do it. They're, the president of the United States is using that as his main mode of communication. And people are listening. Of course they are. And people are listening. They're listening. And and listen, all y'all go to Facebook every day. You go to Facebook every day. You get you do it like you drink water. Because it, it's... We're, and we're not blaming you. We're not... And we're I'm not, here. I'm not blaming you at all. <laughs> it's just that this is what people do. It's your habit. It's a habit now. It's a habit to go to social media. It's a habit to go to Facebook. It's a habit to go to Twitter. It's a habit to go to Instagram. It's a habit to go to these things. This is what people do. This is America. This is what we do in society. It's not... It's gonna. It's not gonna be easy for people to just be like, I'm just gonna stop doing that and I'm gonna go to MeWe. That's not what people do. We're yeah. all married to this stuff now, whether we like it or not. And it is what it is. So, do I think that these are just social media platforms, like private private companies? I think they're more like public utilities that we use. And so, I don't. So, yeah, approaching because, them in that way is kind of. Imagine like calling somebody. Even if you're, say you're like a total terrorist, like you're the worst of humanity, right? And you call your fellow terrorist on a landline and you're like, hey man, let's like plot some terror, right? 
Can you imagine if somebody was constantly listening to those conversations and then saying, oh, I, I'm listening to you and you're doing bad things, so I'm going to cut off this phone call. That doesn't happen. You know what I mean? And so, because that, to some extent, there's some freedom that everybody has to communicate to one another in the way that they want on public utilities. Yeah. And a lot of people say, say that this is no different or shouldn't be any different. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, the, the bad consequences is that people can do terrible things with it. Yeah, and people do. But, I mean, aren't they going to figure out new ways to do the terrible things? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, so maybe we should just let everybody run like crazy. Maybe it should just be the wild, wild west on Facebook. No rules on Facebook or Twitter. And then we just deal with the fallout, right? We deal with the fact that we're going to see horrible things or that people are going to do horrible things and say horrible things. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, it's, I don't know what the answer is. It's like we always go back to the whole, you can't legislate evil. You can't legislate awful. You can't legislate the, the terrible in people, right? I mean, yeah. you just have to... You have to just kind of roll it. This is why I would, I'm not going to, I don't want my kid to ever be out there. I'm not out there. She handles our Twitter because she has more of a stomach for it. <laughs> well, I just don't do very much with it. I just, I can't, just get on these I tears. can't do it. I, <laughs> I can't do Twitter. I can't. Now, Facebook is, we have to, we are, we are married to Facebook. You yeah, know, and, because it, and it's, it's because people have decided that that is their way of getting to our content versus going to our site the way that they used to. We sure wish that we didn't have to be. You know, but this is how people get, this is how people get their information, y'all, whether we like it or not. I, if I didn't, if, if people didn't rely so much on Facebook, that would be a godsend to us because people yeah. would be going directly to our website and we could get all of our information to you that way and we would put our videos out there. That is not how the world works. We go where the audience is. And unfortunately, y'all are this here. Is, this is where people are. <laughs> people are on Facebook. Because this is what people do. They get their coffee. They go to Facebook. They check it every day. And they check it many, many times a day. Because let's face it. It's great. It's one-stop shopping, right? Yeah. You see, you follow all the things you want to follow. And that's what you see in your little feed. Yeah. And it's everything you want is right there in yeah. one place. So, I mean, we can say that it's evil all we want. But it's also a part of our lives it is a it is an ingrained part of our lives so it is what it but is. the problem now like with this twitter and trump fight is that i don't know where this ends because i feel like jack dorsey and the folks at twitter feel very much like they have the power Trump is president, sure, and he can write all these executive orders, but what can he really do to Twitter? He can't do, he can't shut Twitter down, right? He does not have that power, and Twitter knows that, and so now it's like they're baiting each other almost. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's become so personal that it's just weird, and yeah. I don't know, I feel like this is not going to end in a good place. Yeah. <laughs> Not on his mom. Just, uh, all right, it's Friday. Let's right, take some Friday. questions. Oh, also, I heard on the news last night and almost died. J Joe Biden is has announced that he is going to announce his VP on August 1st. Oh, my God. How long does it take you to pick somebody? Well, I mean, he's he's busy. Oh, my God. I couldn't believe that. Like, that's literally just like a few months before. Is that normal? I don't, I don't know. That is very... It's a, it's very far away. I feel like that's really late. It's kind of, yeah, it is kind of late. Okay, yeah. I thought because it, it seems late. Yeah, because you're looking at what three months, and we only have three months to digest that information. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, I mean, that just seems, yeah, that seems late. All right, yeah. I okay. gotta get scooch in close because I, I have can't to. See I know anything. I can barely see too. <laughs> All right, um, you guys have anything? What you got? Hey, Sandra. Does anybody have any solutions for how to fix social media? Completely? Yeah. Because <laughs> what y'all doing this weekend? Hear that. Yeah, um, if people could be civil and have respect, we can't be civil. Yeah, take a look at Minneapolis. Yeah, there's, you, there's no civility in this country no, anymore. It's not a thing. It's just not happening. Oh, and speaking of Biden, Biden and Warren have been very much opposed to the same... Elizabeth Warren? Yeah, Elizabeth Warren. They I totally forgot about her. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Am I the only one? I was like, who? Warren? <laughs> so, Trump, so this whole executive Folk order... Honest. That Trump did is all about Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. So Trump wants that completely revoked or, or re-looked at. So does Biden. So does Elizabeth Warren, which also makes me nervous. Because anytime I'm like on the same side. As a liberal. Yeah, or, or that Trump yeah, is. Then start, I'm like, what is even happening? freaking out. This is why yeah. I think it's going to be bad for free speech all the way around. Kind of kind of weird, you guys. It's a little, it's, yeah, it makes me nervous. Um, some in jo yeah, somebody on Joe's top 10 are saying no thanks. In fact, I have a little note here. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto from Nevada. She was like, I'm, I don't want to be considered. 
Oh my so, God. How do you feel oh things God, are go going Gretchen to open? Story. Hold on, the lockdown. Oh, you guys, we have a Gretchen story. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it is good. It is a good story. Were you about to answer something? So I couldn't read the rest of it. Beach volleyball tournament. Ooh, beach volleyball this weekend. That sounds good. Is that a thing that's Y'all heard about Abbott? The 14th. Yes. Yes, my kids are flying, you guys. My kids are flying. They canceled their plane reservations, and the next day, Abbott lifted the restrictions. <laughs> And then they, they were all going to drive. They were going to drive the 25 hours from San Francisco. Can you believe that crap? Oh, my god! And we were like, listen, call the airlines and see if you can, like, work something out. And they did. And the airlines were like, we'll reinstate your, your flights. Thank God. Good. So they did. So they're going to be flying. We're so excited to see them. That is I cannot awesome. wait to see cows, you guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so the Gretchen story. So we get this email. You got, it's so um, great. And I'm not going to say who it is from because yeah. it doesn't matter. And, and I don't want the, to get this no, person No, we can't trouble. give them away. But she wrote and said, according to my nephew, um, and that is who told her this juicy tidbit about Gretchen Whitmer. Gretchen, Gretchen went to high school in Michigan, and some of her classmates have apparently been speaking out about her. This is, is gossip. What this, email says. this is gossip. Totally gossip. It's not from us. It's from somebody else. We're just spreading it to you. You're welcome. Apparently, Gretchen dated a guy on the football team, and he talked about her various talents. Her nickname among the players was Stretchy Gretchy. <laughs> Make of that what you will. It could, mean, it could mean that she was very bendy. <laughs> yes, perhaps she was uh, flexible. She could have been a gymnast. Gymnast. Could have been a gymnast. Right. In high a school. dancer. Yeah. Or she could have been <laughs> too much of a team player. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know where I'm going with that? Yeah. In high school. So. You know those girls who are kind of like too much of a team player in high school and then they, like when they're adults, they're like the the perfect Pinterest mom. You know what I'm talking about? Those ones. And then you're like, I knew you in high school. And you, and were, you were kind of too much of a team player, you know? <laughs> and now you're like baking stuff. And it's, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming, Gretchen. Yeah. Anyway. Stretchy Gretchy. Stretchy Gretchy is her, uh, <laughs> where'd you get the BS button? From one of y'all. Um, oh yeah. I yeah. I can't, I can't remember who, who gave this, this to us, but it's great. I, I keep all the letters in the cards, but some, one of y'all sent it to us. And it was just right. like one I gotta of play it, do it again. Whoa, watch your step. You just walked into some bullshit. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's got so many uh, different little it sayings. It really does. It's so great. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're not one, we're not ones to gossip, game. but that was really great. I love that. That was the best. Klobuchar did not press charges. What? what? I don't know. I, we're missing I, some serious yeah, we're missing context some stuff about the pressing <laughs> charges and whatnot. The team's favorite mascot. Yeah, Stretchy Gretchy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my gosh. Sorry, all my hair is like doing weird things right now. I have to fix I it. I love those types of girls in high school, says James. Yeah, I bet you did. Most of the dudes did. Most of the dudes really like them. Oh, a practice piece. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Practice. I've never heard that. Practice piece. Pra I, yeah, that's I a know, new one. I, I know what you're saying with that. Yeah. Mm hmm. New York governor is delaying phase three until after an international review. Oh, like what? what? They have to see if your behavior is good. So they got to check in with who? Is that what they're doing? Oh my That's God. insane. These governors are out of control. Oh my God. That is I, insane. I can't, we can't I'm even not, read, we that can't out read that out loud. <laughs> We're not reading that out loud, Claudia. <laughs> not going to do it. <laughs> not going to do it. It's inappropriate, but we like how you think. <laughs> Where to buy the BS button? We didn't buy it. We you don't guys. know. We don't I'm sure. Know. Just Google it. You can yeah. Google anything. Just Google BS BS, just BS button. button. Let me see if it says anything about manufacturing. I know. Anywhere. Just BS button. I'm sure, I'm sure you it can says find made in China them. somewhere. Okay. Klobuchar failed to press charges on the officer accused of killing Floyd in another case. <gasps> wait. So wait. What yeah. is that? So wait. A cop killed somebody else. That same cop killed somebody else. Is that what she said? Well, is I, know, I know that cop was a bad cop. I, I've read that he's bad. He's done bad things. Klobuchar was the one that was... Wow. Had several complaints and he didn't... Pro okay, so not he and didn't she, kill anybody else. But he did really but he bad had, crap. He was a bad cop. Well, and there's video from his neighbors that I was just watching this morning. Had no idea he was a cop. Like, they were like, we've never seen him in a uniform. Well, we didn't I, mean, even, I mean, that's... A, they said he kept to himself. That's, wow. So, Yeah. Okay. Dine only in parking lots in Illinois. In Who said lots. not to wear not to wear a mask unless working with a COVID patient? What the 
hell? You gotta be Well, and I was just reading that Fauci said yesterday that he only wears a mask because it symbolizes respect for people, not because it has any efficacy whatsoever. He shot somebody else. That cop <gasps> shot somebody else. And she didn't, what in the world? Wow. And he's still out there, you guys. Thank he you, still Carolyn. hasn't been arrested. Oh my God. Oh okay. my God. I'm sorry, we do need to catch up. It's been a crazy week. I'm really <laughs> sorry. Wow. <laughs> Laura's like, you don't know enough. I know. To sorry. like have our own video. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> really sorry. We've had, it's been a crazy week, okay? Listen, we are not 24 hour news people. It's, like, well, I mean, we kind of are usually, but it's been a, a rough week. But we week. do sleep, you know. You I mean, know, we do. she had a kid in the hospital. It's been a rough it's week. It's been all kind right? of a deal. Um, did you hear the cop in Florida? Oh, I missed it. Did you see the ambassador from who is China president's wife? The ambassador from, from who, who is, is the, the China, China president's wife? Okay, all right. I did not see that. It's also coming out. The ones that keep themselves are the ones that need to be watched. No, it's kind of true. I agree with you. The mass rules are confusing. Yeah. 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 Because even the health experts have they no know. idea what nobody, they're doing. Nobody knows what they're doing. Nobody. <laughs> nobody knows what they're doing. Which is why seeing 40 million people unemployed drives me insane. Oh, my because God. Because we locked down this country because of a bunch of doctors. I got to tell you something. You know, I had a, this is like personal stuff. But I, I just had like a bone density test, like you know, a couple months ago, and I got the results back. And my bones are for crap. All right, <laughs> I have like severe osteoporosis, and I'm really, really young. And I remember the nurse practitioner looking at me, and she was just like, "Oh my God, you have to move like every rug in your house. Like you shouldn't be moving." She completely panicked. You. She panicked. Like she made me freak out. Right. And I've had stuff like this happen <laughs> throughout my life, where things I've had things, and then the doctors freak you out. And I was, and I remember thinking to myself, okay, I'm not going to freak out because she's freaking me out. I'm going to go talk to somebody else. So I went to a rheumatologist and that, and the rheumatologist was like, you're fine. You're okay. Like it's, it's fine. We're going to put you on this drug and you're going to be fine. And I still think you should ride your bike. You should lift the weights. You should do all the things you should do. You, know, you need to be active, go out and do all the things. And I do, I go out and do all the things. My point of telling you this is that you should always get second third, fourth opinions from doctors because they are just people, okay? And I, that's how I feel about this COVID stuff. I don't think that we should just rely on one person to mm -hmm. get to get any of this information. I think we should be relying on lots of different opinions and then collectively say, okay, how do we feel about this data? How do we feel about this information? And then make an educated decision on things. The problem is, is that we've been listening to one person, basically, yeah. to make decisions on, on stuff that's economic. And it's not... <laughs> It's not smart and it to do that. it affects everything. And, and then these people are, are shutting their businesses down. They're having their livelihoods destroyed based on like one opinion. Why are we doing that? It's so, and I look at this and I think 40 million people are unemployed now. And why? Because they were just like, ah, this is how I feel about it today. <laughs> yeah. That's how I feel about it today. And every day that passes by, we're learning more about the stats and the data. And it's looking more and more ridiculous that we reacted in the way that we did always get second third fourth opinions always i'm absorbing nutrients i'm fine <laughs> it's just it's just everybody's I, gonna be like whoosh with been, all the advice it's been my whole life okay i've always had i've always broken bones it's it's not it's fine don't you don't need to send me stuff i'm fine <laughs> i'm totally fine i'm on good medicines i'm like i'm fine I'm She's just, seen I all just, the doctors. I only told you that because i just i'm telling you like depending on what doctor you go to it's it you don't it, not everything is doom and gloom you know, sometimes you just have to find the right person to help you with the things and then to give you the outlook that is like, you know what? It's not so bad. Sometimes things are good. That's it. <laughs> uh, all right. What are uh, questions you have? Sorry that we've not been answering. Questions. I'm not going to be here next week now. I'm she not going to be here on Monday. I will she, not be here on Monday. Oh, she won't be here Monday. No. She's finally going to get a three-day weekend that she hasn't had in like... I got to knock so much wood right now because... Just knock it. Just knock the... I'm going to knock, knock it. The, whatever that is, the fiberglass wood. Because every time I try is. to just get an extra day off... Her son ends up in the hospital. Yeah, every freaking time. Mm -hmm. So I'm just hoping that I can have an actual three-day weekend. But I'll be here Tuesday through Friday with Rob. Um, so just... I'll be here. Um... Got my hair cut last week. Somebody got their hair cut. Good so job. excited. My mom hasn't had her hair cut in like three months. And she's going to, she went yesterday and she was, she called me. She was like, I'm so excited. She was like, I just, I just feel, I feel like I have a hat on all the time. 
<laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry, mom. You guys, and I said this on the air yesterday, there's a really, really super famous restaurant here in Indianapolis, St. Elmo's. If you've been here, if you live here, you, I'm sure you know of it. And they, this is how dumb everything is. So we've had a longstanding reservation there for Father's Day weekend with my parents, my husband's parents, and my kids, so seven of us. And they called the other day to confirm, yes, are you coming on Saturday the 20th? Yes, we are. Well, FYI, you can't all sit together because of COVID. So we're gonna have four of you at one table, three of you at another, and you cannot be within six feet of each other, and you cannot visit each other at the other tables. Even, you though, you even though you came in together. Even though we came in together. Yeah. Because there are a maximum of six can be at a table. Tell me how much sense that makes. It doesn't make. Especially when I made sense. another, I was like, okay, I'm gonna cancel because that is insane. Mm -hmm. And I make a reservation a half hour north and I, it's fine to have yeah. seven people at a table. I mean, I, you know, because science, you guys. <laughs> this is science. why it's so dumb. Everything yeah. is so dumb. It is. It's dumb. Deborah still has not gotten her haircut. Deborah, I'm sorry. St. Elmo's Fire, it's not the same. I bet your hair looks awesome, though. Because <laughs> you probably have, like, let it just breathe for the past couple months. You know, it probably looks really good. <laughs> Somebody's thinking about getting a perm. You go. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> I live in Pennsylvania. I may never get a haircut. Speaking of Pennsylvania, we're still enjoying the treats from Dana Spain yesterday. Oh my God. From I Philadelphia. Have, I'm getting ready. Like when I get all, I'm getting, I'm eating this. I'm, I'm eating, I've been like cake. eyeball, I've been eyeballing this the whole time. <laughs> I've been like, I'm going to eat that sourdough pretzel <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this is the breakfast of champions, you guys. <laughs> oh, somebody wants a screaming goat. I just saw something. Oh, do we have it? Yeah, we do. Yeah. It is Screaming Goat 80s Friday today on our regular radio show. So, good timing. Loving our mom and daughter trip to Florida. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I love that. I hope I do that with my daughter one day. We just do all sorts of, like, mom and daughter trips. I love that. That's so sweet. I had the best quality time with my son yesterday in our hot tub because we turn it down for summer weather. And we he let, he let me have a two-hour just talkathon with that's him. That's so sweet. It was so unexpected because it was supposed to rain all afternoon and then yeah. it just didn't and so i went out and i was like why don't you join me and he actually did it this is a 14 year old so you know oh how my god crazy that's that so is. nice and for two hours we were talking about his friends and like just culture and like we were reminiscing about vacations that we had so nice it was the best see i think this is that's probably the upside of this whole i we've not really been quarantined but it's yeah. the upside of covid and like being having your kids at home yeah i mean that's that's i've enjoyed that so much i've enjoyed at least going home and not having to rush off to something yeah because like we a practice yeah because i mean we are constantly running around all the time like chickens with our heads cut off and we're not doing that and there's a part of me that misses that because i miss the swim mates i miss all the stuff i miss the people that we do that with but at the same time it's kind of nice because you know you get a little extra time with your kids yeah. you get all that and he's turning into such a little grown up. I know it's crazy, right? It I happens only have overnight. Four more years with him. Oh my guys. god! And then it's done. And, and then, then that's it. And then he's and then gone. they are. They, he's a little man. And I don't even know how to deal it's, with that. It's, you you won't. You'll have breakdowns. Like <laughs> it's get ready. Me, I still. I mean, I just. There it's gonna so be many, bad. So many breakdowns. Oh my god! It's gonna be bad. Right. Uh, I'm sorry. We're being terrible about questions. Today. Yeah, I'm Absolutely sorry. Terrible. I miss my. I know, right? The grandbabies. My mom is oh, like. Yeah. I know when you can't see your grandbabies. Yeah. You can do Facebook Live on a monitor. Yeah. Well, well we've looks, tried, we've tried, tried it. it. I don't think it looks any different, it doesn't, actually. It doesn't look any different. I'm sorry. If we don't look good, this is, this is just <laughs> this the is way just we face. look. <laughs> this is just how we look. I'm sorry. We're just... This is just our face. It's just you're going to have to... If you want something that looks better, you're going to have to go with girls that are like 20 years younger. Exactly. Sorry. We're not here for our looks, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Uh... Don't no. live in fear. Refuse to live under tyranny. I we're don't doing our in, best. I don't, live, I don't live in fear. Doing our best. I think we're of the age group, but we just, you know, you just don't do that. And then I, I talked to my mom about it. My mom is, you know, what, 70 something. And so she's of that age bracket too, where she's like, we've lived through so much crap. Yeah. So I'm going to go now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> she's like, I'm going to go. I'm going to Florida next month with my girlfriend. I and mean, we're just doing all the things, you know, she's just. <laughs> Because they have. I mean, they've lived through the stuff. And so she did the lockdown for, you know, the two months that she needed to. And then she's like, I'm done now. Yeah. I'm like, done. It's, I feel like that about all of us. Like, we've now humored we're done. everybody. We've yeah. humored the government. Mm -hmm. We did our 15 days to flatten the curve. We're done now. We're done now. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Open up. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, I've still been sending kids to grandparents. We've been you. going to my See parents, ya. and it's fine. Yeah. We can still go and visit, yeah. hug, do all the things. Totally. Parenting an adult is way harder than parenting young God ones. God bless oh, you. I know. Aging parents are so... It's hard. Yeah, that is hard. I didn't see the other question. With all the death that occurred, what about that's the death long. records? Of death records? Um, I don't... That's interesting. I don't know. I don't know exactly what the question was. I don't either. Uh, I never realized yeah. how much I didn't go out until now. Yes. Yeah. I don't... Uh, Did don't. you ever think you'd be this excited about getting your hair cut? Yeah. I mean, right? But uh, be, the, she's saying, I, I never realized I didn't go out that much until now. We don't really do a lot oh, of stuff Oh, I see. Yeah. My husband and I never go out to eat. We don't really do a lot of that kind of stuff. We just don't. But We do those things. Yeah, she does I miss it. They go to restaurants all the time. Yeah, I miss it. What about you, Rob? Do you go to restaurants a lot? You just I, go to bars. Go he to goes bars. to bars. <laughs> a lot of bars. He's 30-something, though, you know? And he's always, you know, you're taking up the, to forty though. Chasing, you're ticking right up there. You are chasing the chicks. I'll be at Kilroy's tonight. Yeah, really? if anybody wants to meet him at For Kilroy's in Indianapolis. Outside. <laughs> yeah. Social with that. With not that social mask. distancing. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll be social distancing. Yeah, you yeah. are a little. You're a little paranoid. The yeah. mayor. The mayor has put all the precautions in place. So I everything's fine. No doubt, science. everything will be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be just fine. And I might be at Kilroy's tomorrow. Too. Yeah, he's gonna hit <laughs> all weekend long. All weekend long. Does anybody have a Kilroy's. question for Rob? Yeah, you can ask Rob a question you can because ask he's here. Rob, anything? Nobody cares about. Me. They do. <laughs> they care. Everybody's they saying do. hi. Hi. So that's Rob. You know, I did not know the drummer from Death Leopard had one arm. <laughs> 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 oh we see God, what you did there. We totally did the drum. <laughs> I'm glad this person actually listens to. I the know. Show. See, you guys Rob know what we were talking Wendy's. about if you listen to our radio show, right. which, by the way, is from 9 to 11, Monday through Friday, Eastern, on WIBC.com. We'll, we'll be asking Rob about uh, Stretchy Gretchy. We'll be talking to him about Stretchy Gretchy. Stretchy Gretchy. And I think he knows about Stretchy Gretchy. Gretchen Whitmer, we'll talk to you about that. Her nickname in high school was Stretchy Gretchy. That was given. No. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was. And it was given to her by a guy on the football team uh -huh. that she dated. You know what oh. that means. <laughs> You know what that means. That's awesome. Yeah. That means she was of a low moral standing. Uh -huh. Apparently well, so. I mean, we don't Why know. does Rob carry around a bag? Oh, what do you carry in your backpack? Yeah, what's in your backpack, Rob? None of your damn business. Wow, that was really Well, mean. you don't make this fun yeah, at all. You, you gotta, like... I have a computer in my backpack. Uh-huh, what else? Fan mail. <laughs> Ridiculous. I shouldn't have laughed that hard. I'm sorry. Ridiculous. <laughs> you think I'm joking. You watch. Hang on. Rob, did you see these? Yeah, we got pens. Rob, do you like hockey? No, I've never drank coffee. Did you? No, hockey. Oh, hockey. Hockey. Yeah, the Mighty like, Ducks. Like Wayne Gretzky. Somebody hockey. made these. Is Rob single? Rob, are you single? Are you single? I am not married. Rob is no. Rob is not married. I have a woman associate. <laughs> this is my bag. Notice how quickly he had changed the subject. <laughs> yes, he is not married. He has this a is my woman bag. Associate. You see him going into my uh -huh. bag. He's and going then, in. Somebody said, Rob's such a cutie. I can't believe he's not taken. I have a woman associate. <laughs> what? What is it? There's my fan mail. You can read that on the air. Oh, my charisma, God. Charisma, charisma. Forget Jim Merritt. Forget Donald Rainwater. Forget 2020. The only hope. A charismatic Republican in 2024. Hate to send mail. Where to send my email? That's this not, is not fan that's mail. That's not fan mail. Like, there's literally not I a mean, nice I feel like if there was an envelope, it would have had arsenic in it. <laughs> There's Here, nothing in there about like, you. But it's That's directed nice. to me. Yeah. It's directed to you with a bunch of questions. I think he means he wants me to run. Has he lost weight? Have you lost weight, Rob? Yes, I lost six pounds during <gasps> the quarantine. Are you serious? Yeah. I you didn't, didn't know gain that. the quarantine five? No, God. No or the quarantine 15? Wow. Most of it from banging. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's probably a good time for us to is go. inappropriate. <laughs> Very inappropriate. <laughs> um... So again, we will not be here on Monday. Does Rob smoke? No, he doesn't. No, smoke. no, he's super healthy. I'm Does Rob ever do a Joe Biden to the chicks? Mm -hmm. If you're asking if he smells our hair, yes. Yeah, he is does. Rob a single personality or multiple? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is our producer. Yeah, that is correct. Um, <clears throat> Joe Biden said, "I like all the races, even the bad ones." What is that? What is <laughs> what? What is that? Oh even? my God! Please make that true. Is oh that my, true? It does. It won't matter if it's true. It won't even matter because <laughs> people will be like, "What? That, <laughs> like that doesn't? It's fine because Joe Biden is Joe Biden." Well, that's true. That's what they'll say because they've actually said that in the past. Joe Biden is Joe Biden. There you go. 
that fine. excuses everything. Yeah, I mean, it's totally fine, right? <laughs> yeah. Rob, are you adhering to the cowboy position? Oh, my God. I think they mean reverse cowboy. Oh, my God. Don't don't answer that. Yeah, don't, actually. Don't answer it. Mm -mm, I don't No. I think I answered that question for you guys yesterday. Okay. Just, off the air. Just don't. You did. Let's not talk about that. Maybe Let's I not. already blocked that out. <laughs> you did. I, well, you, he did. He answered it. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to. Boy, you two are really sensory today. <laughs> Y'all should run Twitter. Yeah, right. <laughs> mm. uh, yes, that's correct. He has his own show on Sundays from 1 to 3. Mm -hmm. We do make a good team. We do. We're it a is good, a good team. We're a good team. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Texas. I'm coming at you. I'm, I'm driving there today. <laughs> on my way today. Are going to get to swim? Um, I don't know. We're, we're we're not really concerned about swimming so much as we are ranching and okay. seeing cows. That's all what right. this trip is all about. I just Family, I don't know if they have like their public pools or whatever. I think open. that they're open, but we don't. We're I'm I'm more concerned about sunshine, cows, family, and just being outdoors. And there's heat there. <laughs> there's heat and sunshine. I'm so excited. I'm coming for you, Texas. All right, we gotta go do the things. Um, Make sure to listen to the show next week, even though it'll just be me and Rob. It's going to be great. Um, it's going to be really great. Starting on Tuesday. I mean, yeah. it'll, be, it'll be less great. It'll be great. And but, I'll see you guys in a week. Yeah, and then we'll be back on this. Yeah, and I'm going to be uh, fresh as a daisy <laughs> when I come back. <laughs> I may say hi um, some morning. Hey, Knoxville. Hey, Jeff in Knoxville. That's where I went to undergrad school. Facebook Lives usually Go start balls. between 7, 30, and 8. Yes, so. yes, yes. All right. All right. We're going to bring it in. Yeah. Bring it in! You guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. She'll talk. To, no, I'll talk to you in a week. She'll talk to you next week. <laughs>